Hey Brad, it's Logan Stout at Perkins Motorplex in Mayfield. I'm outside one of our reconditioning facilities here. And that American flag way over there, that is where our lot is located here in Mayfield. But you'll see, we've got a whole bunch of inventory back here. We got our delivery trucks all the way up the hill back there. We got inventory stacked. Uh, this is kind of like our surplus area. Uh, got a lot of vehicles getting checked in, uh, going through the reconditioning facility another reconditioning facility over there so this is our headquarters so showing off some of our resources here a little bit and this is that f-150 uh lariat that we were talking about uh on the phone um very pleased with it i've walked around it a few times i think it's in really good shape uh start with the wheels and tires you got the toyo open country uh at tires and the tread is phenomenal those are basically brand new if they're not brand new they are uh i would say just a few thousand miles in. Those are really, really good. Let's look down the driver's side here. I'm gonna look for those dings, scratches, and imperfections that we talked about on the phone. All of our vehicles are used. They're all pre-owned, so none of them are gonna be perfect. We don't expect this to be blemish-free. There's gonna be a ding, a scratch, whatever on it. Uh, but really on that driver's side, just not seeing much at all to point out. So if there is something on this side, it's gonna be minor or else I think I would have caught it looking down the body line. And I walked around it a few times before I started recording. So really, really nice. Fender looks good. I do have the truck running. We're gonna, I've got the hood popped right now. So we're gonna uh, look underneath the hood here in just a little bit. You're gonna know way more about that than I am. That's a fact. The front of it looks really good too. The, the chrome is in really good shape because we see that chrome, you know, it'll take rocks, it'll take bug damage, it'll take whatever, but this one is held up really, really nice. You can see my reflection in it there. Um, nice and clean across the hood, no hell damage, really nice. All right, let's go passenger side. One can only hope it's as good as the driver's side and it is really, really good through there. Tinted windows look awesome. Another wheel in good shape. Running boards are firm. And even that passenger bedside is good as well. So I do not, I'm never gonna say we got a truck that's blemish free because there's probably something on here that I've missed, but there's certainly nothing glaring. Tailgate looks good. Back bumper looks good. Everything looks good through there. Very nice. Very soft let down on the tailgates, what we like to see. So the bed, uh, no craters, no chunks. It's got the light scratching in there. This is a prime suspect for a drop-in bed liner or spray-in bed liner, whichever one you want to do. Uh, I, been told by guys like if there's significant damage on the bed you're not going to do a bed liner or whatever but this one's just got the light scratching so clean slate there for you to do whatever or leave it just like it is i don't think it looks real bad looks like on the front of the bed here looks like a protector strip there so if you were to pull that off you're probably going to see some discoloring underneath that um maybe a protector for a toolbox or a bed cover of some sort uh but that's that's the only little quirky thing i just noticed um, all right, take a look at the frame. We always want to do that here too. I always look right down that main frame line, just looking for excessive signs of rust or corrosion. We do an underspray on all of our vehicles. Uh, so you're gonna see the black coloring there. We do that because a lot of our trucks come in, they've got red clay stains on them or uh, dirt stains or whatever. And that seals it up moving forward a little bit. So that's nice, but more importantly, it looks really good on the pictures. Uh, so whether it's a Nissan Altima, Toyota Camry, uh, big truck, small SUV, doesn't matter. We're going to underspray all of them. It does have a little seal component to it. Seals it up moving forward. But it does wear off. It's not a permanent thing or anything like that. They'll just do a little scrub and a little spray. And it uh, it's a nice little thing our recon team does here. But yeah, very good through here. Very little surface rust. There is a little, but uh, this could pass for a Louisville, Kentucky, uh, and even some of our Western Kentucky trucks we see, this could pass for local uh, as far as corrosion goes. Very good there. 
Let's go underneath the hood and then we'll go in the interior to finish. Got the truck running, of course that 5.0, plenty of space in here, love that. Uh, some of the Ford diesels get, you know, the bad rap for being so packed in here, but I like the space in here. I always try to look through these windows that the engine bay gives me for any signs of excessive rust or corrosion, really nice through there. Really clean through there, I love that. Awesome, so I'll let you hear it a little bit. And with it running, I will, or with the hood open, I'll give it some gas as well. Put the phone out there, see if you can catch some of it. I'll let that, uh, let that calm down here. Good. All right, let's go to the interior. Certainly no smells. I, I checked that two or three times. N no smoke smell. Smells like leather. You can smell a little bit of cleaner, uh, cleaner in there, but no smoke whatsoever. Uh, driver or the back seat looks great. No rips or tears in those seats. Armrest looks good. Those cup holders out. Those look good. Storage underneath. Nice. All these doors are intact, which is a good sign. We see those get knocked off. I don't know why that's a thing, but these get ripped off all the time. Uh, seat backs are in really good shape. That's another thing we see. Kids kicking and scratching and tearing the backs. Driver door looks good. Driver seat looks good. Do have the really nice WeatherTech mats. Let's see if there's one in the back. I didn't check that. Yeah, big nice WeatherTech mat in the back. Kick plate's good. Uh, there's a blemish. Uh, just just notice that. Uh, maybe a pocket knife or keys or something like that in the driver side pocket, uh, scratching up that side there. Storage in there is great. Uh, two key fobs, that's nice. Uh, we give every key we get, and a lot of times we just have one. So, uh, two key fobs, and the remote start does work. I used that to start the vehicle earlier. Power sliding back glass is going to open up here. Yep, checked all the windows a second ago. Everything seems to be in working order. You got your owner's manual in there, accessories. Heated and cooled seats. Driver's seat looks great. 59,870 miles. That's important because that means it'll qualify for one of our factory type total care warranties that goes all the way out to 120,000 miles. Our goal is to show you payment options both with and without that coverage. There's no deductible on it. It's parts and labor both included and it's nationwide. So you can take it to a Ford dealer in Clarksville if you want or a... Uh, body shop that you trust as long as it's a certified mechanic he can get paid to do the work he or she can get paid to do the work so if you go to joe's body shop uh as long as he's a certified mechanic take it to him he can get paid just the same so that gives you some flexibility you don't always have to go to a ford dealer uh, for the repairs and i love what all it covers it covers even the navigation components engine transmission alternator battery radiator power windows power locks the list goes on i call a lot of that computer crap and it does cover all that stuff too we got too many computers on these trucks now uh, i think you said you're old school so you'll, you'll know what i'm talking about there but it does cover that stuff as well uh and in addition to the engine transmission all that so you can see i was just messing around with the touch screen there it looks like all four corners are working we are good to go this is a very responsive system that ford came up with love that and this truck is sweet uh one thing the window tent i mean it's dark it's it's really nice i'm i'm a fan um really protects the inside keeps the heat off of you and it does have an eyebrow that goes down probably a third of the way down the windshield so it's a little bit bigger of an eyebrow um i've gotten to where i appreciate those two 
Um, as long as it's not just uh, completely off color, I'm cool with it. And that is just the standard gray. So that's my personal preference coming in there a little bit. But uh, I love the truck. I think it's uh, it's one I would be jealous of, certainly. Especially with it having the 5.0. All the bells and whistles let me know what other questions you have there it is kind of an extended video there but a, a really good look at this uh, f-150 we'd love to send it to you on one of these delivery trucks